Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, but you're gonna notice a problem. Yeah, so my camera was on slow mode setting, which meant it was filming everything in slow mo up until the point I actually got on for the class. So here is my Derby County Show Concourse Qualifier vlog. It's pretty much a voiceover for the first five minutes, but enjoy! So yeah, today we are heading off to the Derby County show, but the day before I had been with my friend and I had, had been recording a few things for her in slow-mo for some reels and I didn't change my camera back. But Dublin came in, got a bath, and I made sure we had plenty of water and plenty of food because I was going to leave her on the trailer for an hour or so just while we went around the venue. So I got all of her boots on, everything sorted out. Brad was coming with me, which is amazing because it's always a good laugh when he comes. And of course, you guys get more content. So nice, easy morning, boots on, bit of oil on, and we were good to go. So it's actually a really nice ET drive to this venue um, and it is the only concourse qualifier I could find in my area but this class was at 5pm on a Sunday, not ideal but we thought let's go make a day of it so we got Dublin parked in the shade and had a little look around the show. Brad was very happy to find one of his favourite tractors ever which cheered him up no end which makes it easier because then it means that he's happy for the rest of the day and I found this beauty oh my god her name was Wednesday as well like I love snakes but we just wandered around the rest of the show it's pretty much all food vintage tractors there's like cow and sheep judging all the sort of like normal stuff you'd expect at a county show but we had to get back because obviously Dublin was on the trailer and it was starting to warm up so I got her off got everything set up ready for us to just have a nice relaxed chill get ready really um i didn't want to explain this in a video but uh yeah slow mo doesn't record sound so here i am trying to fix the problem but no uh bath just so she was clean i just needed to brush her off popped her black spray on because the schedule said that we weren't doing any individuals so i thought i really had 10 minutes of going around the outside of the ring and just trying to stand out so i did all of my own makeup I put on red lipstick to match my dress, did my hair, I think I used half a bottle of gel, get all that into the, it's like four hair nets I have, it's ridiculous, but my hair just has so many wispy bits that I can't afford to have flying around, so it's quite a big operation getting my hair onto my top hat, and then it was just getting the final touches done, getting dubs all tacked up, and then ironically, Brad went to take a photo with my camera, which meant he changed the settings and we were back to normal. I was able to move the slow-mo onto like fast, so it looked like it was normal speed, but here we are, it's finally back to normal pace and when I was brushing her face, she was falling asleep, bless her. But she is just such a good girl. So I had my bridal number on because I don't like to wear a number on my dress. And then this is a slow-mo of me explaining to Brad that I was feeling incredibly nervous, but I remembered that I had this spray from my Gallop and Glory box. It's the Free Step Rider Nervous Spray, and you put like 10 squirts of it on each arm, um, and it calms you down, and I actually think it does work. So, um, yeah, gonna keep hold of that. Now, with the trailer being parked so far away, I didn't want to leave the ramp down, which then meant I lost my mounting block, so I used the really small step on the back of the trailer. Um, this all was filmed normally, but the venue was kind of playing music, so I couldn't actually leave this sound in too much, um, because they just... Well, YouTube penalises you. But uh, yeah, we got on and I thought I'm gonna go and warm her up in an area where it's quite buzzy. She had had her calmers, but I wanted to just kind of get her used to the atmosphere because it's the atmosphere that tends to wind her up. Um, so the warm up was by all the main horses, even though our arena was main arena, you still had to come over here to warm up. There was tannoys, there were ponies everywhere, there were people everywhere. So it was a really good place to come and just get her settled and ride her in that environment. She actually warmed up really, really nicely. I was really pleased um, getting all that work that Katie Carter has been doing with us in the clinics. So yeah, I was, yeah, I was really, really pleased. I found out that there was only 
three or four in my section for the qualifier. So it took a lot of the pressure off because top four place qualify. So that was really easy. But yes, here we are going into the all important main arena. So yeah, it was 10 past five by this point and actually a lot of people were still there. I kind of figured that with the show starting at half past five, most people would have left, but no, it was actually really busy and the wind really picked up, like really, really picked up. I did have audio over this, but it is so windy that I just could not leave it in. Um, so that makes all the kids running around screaming did wind up and up quite a bit. It took me quite a while to settle it. Luckily, we walked around quite a lot. I think I got two full laps around the big arena. So I was just settling her and then they called us in to the lineup and I thought, oh my God, was that it? Because obviously there's no individuals. But no, she was calling us all out to do individual shows. I was like, oh my God, panic. I'm not like mentally prepared for this. Um, so yeah, here's me winging it. So for a usual buzzy atmosphere with an individual, I would give three calming cookies just to ensure that she stands perfectly still for the judge and she's not so hot headed. I only gave two because I thought it was just a go around and I kind of still wanted that like flashiness from her. Um, so yeah, not ideal, but we did only have to do a figure of eight. She asked us lots of questions about the dress gave all the information about how it was sort of like a Georgian period, it had like French lacing on it, just gave all the little details, and then just a nice simple trot figure of eight. She was a little bit tense in that top corner, so I was really cautious not to lose her down like diagonal, um, I didn't want her shooting off and kind of like running onto the forehand, because she can do that, that's her like favorite thing to do. And then I thought, right, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead and just kind of make half circle, come back to walk, face my judge, salute, and just take a huge breath. But can we note how the entirety of this class, she stood so square, like, oh my God, I have been practicing, but yeah, oh my God. Right, so this is the bit where it got confusing. The class is split into four sections. So you had your in hand, your lead reins, your 16 and under, and your 17 and over. It's just us three there in the 17 and over, if you can see through Brad's wobbly filming. So the girl in purple was under 16, she won her section. And then it was just us three waiting for our results. Now, again, I wasn't too nervous at this point because I knew that we all qualified. So the pressure was off, but no, it is always nice to know, you know, how you've done, if the judge likes your costume or not. Um, and it was actually quite a long wait. I was getting a little bit nervous actually because it was taking so long. I thought, oh my God, this judge knew what she was doing. She's one of the proper like Concord judges. So it was a bit more like, you know, she's really, really making note. But yeah, she finally, 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 finally came and called Dublin forward. And I was over the moon. I just was so, I don't know, because I kind of feel like in concours you don't have to leave, really have to do a lot. It's kind of a little bit like a cop-out because you just got to try and look pretty. But uh, yeah, no, she she looked pretty as compared to the judge thought. So oh, I was over the moon and I was really, really pleased with how she behaved. It was then the top two from each section go forward to the championship. So she just had us walk around again um, and we then stood back in line and I was so nervous this time because I was like, oh my God, we've been here since 11 o'clock. It would be really lovely if the late day actually meant that we had a really, really good result. And I got called out, but I didn't know if that was the reserve or if that was the champion spot. So I was a little bit confused until finally she announced over the tannoy. Oh, well done. The judge has made a decision. It's the ribbon as the champion and the in hand as the reserve. Well done to both of you. Yeah, it's well done. I know the in hand is a two year old. He's a little gelding and he's in beautiful condition. I'll just find out how the The winner, number 161, is 23 years old. 
She's absolutely a stunner. Judge and the commentator was so lovely and they couldn't believe she was 23 years old. It wasn't actually something I got to mention in the uh, when the judge was like talking to me first. So, oh my God, so they were just so lovely and they made such a big deal out of it, which I think is lovely when you're at a county show. So then we just had a little trot round of lap of honour because of course the reserve was in hand so I wasn't going to go shooting off and she had a two-year-old. It's so cute. I think it was the youngest in the class and then Dublin was the oldest in the class. So... Yeah, it was really, really lovely. And yeah, it definitely made it worth it. That was worth it! <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, only of you running around the thing, but I've like magnified it. Oi, no, not eating. So I've oh. put Brad's two loves. That nice Fergie traction in the background, and then you running around. Oh, <laughs> Dubs! Dubs! Ah, winner! Ah, I mean, she's like, I didn't have to do right anything. Then. Thanks. <laughs> she says, I didn't really have to do a lot, I just had to look Dubs. pretty. Right there. You're a clever sausage, though, because she's had her karma. I'll be honest, I thought she was going to take off in the warm-up bit. Well, she had her karmas. Not in the warm-up, like on yeah. the trot and round. then she walked in and literally got up the side and there were kids all there and she just went... <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I should have given her another karma. Champion. Um, she didn't stand perfectly for the judge, so I thought I'd let us down. But then <coughs> I'm pleased with her because in the... In that the, in the like, individual, yeah. I got to that top corner and I thought, oh my God, she's going to explode. So I literally was like, half out, half out, leg, get the good trot, like down the long side, managed to ride it. And then I was like, right, just hold, call it quits while you're ahead. There was, a, there was a lad next to me and he was like, oh, the one in the red looks really good. She's my winner. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, and then she, at the end, she was like, you leave it on, <laughs> you leave it on this. She goes, uh, she's 23, she's an absolute stunner. And then I went, the rider's not bad either. <laughs> qualifiers near us so it's good to go nope. out and absolutely smash it mm -hmm. I'm really pleased but no she's been brilliant because she's still in the trailer she's been really chill she was rideable she's hot but she was rideable so i'm pleased and you like going out in your dress don't you that's a nice easy day out good girly dubs dubs <gasps> dublin did you win did you win did you win did you win? You win! Oh no, don't win. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Dubs. You're a good girl. Right. You're a good girl. You have five minutes chill while mummy floods herself out. Uh, can you do me a favour first? What? Can you eat something? Can you eat your chicken sandwich? Yeah, I know, I do need to eat. No, I'm, I mean it now. doing there. We are getting this queen home. Come on. Come on. No. Oh my god, you're so greedy. Come on. Hey, oh yeah. Come on. Take a step forward. That's it. Have a sausage. Right. What are you doing? Oh, thank you. Right, let me offer you some more water before we leave. Oh, she was just so good. You're driving, aren't you? No, no, you're not. You've not ate anything and you're rubbish with bubbles. <laughs> you're not doing it. Get in the car, you can have your juice like a little child. <laughs> You got any fruit shoots? Yeah. <laughs> right, baby, you got a drink or not? Because we're going to go home now. We are. Okay. <laughs> Darby County Show Champion! <laughs> I'm hiding behind a 
blowing because it's actually really windy but I wanted to say goodbye while I was still with her she's just <laughs> eating some haylage back out in the field I know it seems daft because in the grand scheme of things we didn't really need to do a lot um you know just trot around and look pretty but sometimes that's all a concourse course that's all a concourse class entails that's just the way it is which is why it's such an accessible class um and it is judges personal preference so it's a class you can just enjoy and oh my god did i enjoy it it was in the main ring and there actually were a few people that stayed to watch which was really nice i kind of figured that with the class being at five and the show closing at half five that it would have got like really quiet um but no there was definitely enough atmosphere to still set this one off she'd had one and a half karma and to be honest i normally give three when it's buzzy but because it was hot when we were getting ready i was like oh she's not gonna need it the heat kind of like knocks her out but of course as soon as we got on the wind picked up and we even had a few spats of rain but no i'm just over the moon we have our concourse championship qualifier it is the weekend after i get married but we're around so i shall be going and um, we will be doing it it's at only this year so i'm really excited there's a new venue everything seems to just be at arena uk at the minute so i'm quite pleased that it's at a different venue but yes i'm over the moon this one's gonna have tomorrow off and then back to normal in the week we have another lesson with katie carter with the riding club on thursday which is perfect because we then have hanbury county show the following saturday so that will be the next vlog um so yeah i'm looking forward to that now so thank you guys for watching thank you for all of your support make sure you like and subscribe because we will see you next weekend bye